Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So I'm going to show you how to make this pineapple stitch skirt. Um, it's probably really not good for a beginner to start with, but you're really going to have to follow along with me because I go over each each row. It's kind of a long process, but um, from the top here all the way down without it really being stretched or anything, it's approximately 23 inches long. And I made mine to fit, um, it'll fit a large or an extra large because it does have these drawstrings here. So it's able to be kind of tied up if it's too loose on you. Um, you can make it bigger or smaller, but it needs to be done, your beginning chain needs to be done in a multiple of 16. So if you need it bigger than this size, you know, add 16 more chains to what I say. Or smaller, you know, you could take away 16 more chains. So that's how you can adjust the size on that. And you're going to need approximately, for this size here, if you need a bit, you know, if you make it bigger, you're going to need more. But for what I made, I used about 900 yards of yarn. And I don't have a written pattern for this. So I only have, I only have the video. And you're probably going to, you're going to need to wear like a slip or something underneath it because it is see-through. But um, let's go and get started on it. Okay, for this project, I am using... Red Heart Boutique Unforgettable. It is a four ply medium weight yarn. You don't have to use this. Any four ply yarn will work. And the color I am using is called Parrot. And I'm going to be using a size I, which is a um, five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And I'm making this to fit um, extra large, but since it has a string, I imagine it'll fit a large too. So extra large, large, um, and it's made with a pineapple stitch. You can adjust the size to fit around, like fit around your own body um, if you want to make it bigger or smaller. But the pineapple stitch that I'm doing is done in multiples of 16, so that's what your starting chain would need to be in is a multiple of 16 but to make mine which is extra large probably fit a large too you need to start with a chain of 128 and you want to make sure that you keep get that number right because it needs to be that for the pineapple stitch to work out so once you get your chain of 128 you want to follow it down without twisting your chain to your very first stitch and we're going to make one large ring all the way down to your first stitch and you want to slip stitch through it maybe there we go oh I'm all tangled up okay and then you want to chain one and now I'm going to work one single crochet in every single stitch across. And we're going to start by going right back into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into and doing a single crochet in it. Now I'm going to work my way around putting one single crochet in every single stitch. All the way around your big ring. And when you get back around, you need to have a total of 128 single crochets okay once you make it all the way around back to your beginning and you counted and you have 128 stitches I'm going to go ahead and single crochet into the first single crochet. Not the chain one, but the first single crochet. Okay, now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And that chain four is counting as a double crochet with the chain one. So we're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next one. So go ahead and yarn over, skip a stitch, and double crochet into the next. 
and then we're going to chain one. We're going to skip a stitch and double crochet into the next. Chain one. Skip a stitch and double crochet into the next. Chain one. And that is the repeat that we're going to do all the way around our entire ring. Skip a stitch, double crochet into the next, chain one. So go ahead and repeat that all the way around your whole ring until you get back to the beginning. Okay, once you make it back around, you should have just one stitch left to skip. Make sure you chain one after this last one here. And go ahead and slip stitch into the third chain of this chain four. Like that. Now we're going to slip stitch over into this space. So we're just going to go right through the space and slip stitch. And now we're going to do a chain of three. One, two, three. And that chain three counts as a double crochet. So now we're going to go work back through the space and do another double crochet. Then I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to go back through the space again and do two more doubles. So what we did was kind of like a double V stitch. We did two double crochets, chain two, and two more doubles. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Skip this space and work into the next space and we're going to do this again. So skip a space, not this one, but this one. And work two doubles. Chain two. And two more doubles. All through that same space. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Now we're going to skip the next space and work in this and do the same thing. Two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. So if you look, we did three of those V stitches in a row. One, two, three. Now what we're going to do is we're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to work in this one again. We're going to do the same thing except for the chain two that we do in between them is going to be a chain six. So we're going to skip this and work in the next and we're going to put two doubles. And now we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You want to loosely chain six. You don't want to make it real tight. And now I'm going to go back into the same spot and do two more double crochets. And then I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And now I'm going to do three V stitches in a row again with the chain two and then one with the chain six. So that's kind of the repeat now. So we're going to skip the next spot and in the next one we're going to do two doubles, a chain two, and two more doubles. That, and then we're going to chain three. We're going to do that two more times, so we're going to skip the next one and go into the next one. Chain, or two doubles, chain two and two more doubles chain three skip the next one and work in the next two doubles chain two go back in and do 
two more doubles. So we did a three in a row with the chain two right here. Now we're going to do one with the chain six. So we skip the next one and then the next one. Oh, chain three after it. Make sure you chain three in between all of them. We'll do two doubles. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And two more doubles. And we're just going to repeat that pattern. Make sure you chain three after this. All the way around to the beginning. Three V stitches with a chain two, and then one with a chain six. Three of them with the chain two, and then one with the chain six. All the way back around to the beginning. Okay, my last uh, space got the V stitch with the chain six, and then you want to chain three, and you should have one space to skip. You go ahead and slip stitch into the top of your beginning chain three. Now I need to start my next row in this stitch right here, the center of this V stitch. Now you can slip stitch across to it or you can clip your yarn off and just start there. I'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch right across to it. So slip stitch there and then the chain space two times and then the next double crochets. I got a knot in my yarn. Oh, I hate that. And then in the next chain spaces, this next chain three space, slip stitch in through that three times. And then into the next double crochet, the next double crochet. And then you're in the center of that one. Now if it's easy for you to just tie off and start in that one, that's that's fine. Either way. Okay. Now we're going to start off by chaining three. And we're going to go back into the same space and double crochet. Chain two. Go back in again and double crochet two more times. So what we did was we just made another V stitch in a, the chain two space of the previous V stitch. Okay, now I'm gonna chain three and now I'm gonna single crochet into this next chain two space. Like that. Okay, now without chaining three. I'm going to put 16 triple crochets through this big chain six space. So I'm going to yarn over. I didn't chain three. And I'm going to triple crochet 16 times. There's two. Three. Four. Okay, once you get your 16 triples, and you want to make sure you have 16 there, without chaining three, I'm going to go ahead and single crochet into the next chain two space. Like that. Now I'm going to chain three, and I'm going to do a V stitch inside this chain two space of this V stitch. So I'm going to yarn over and put two doubles. Chain two and two more doubles. Now I'm gonna chain three and single crochet into the next piece. Now 
now without chaining three, I'm going to go ahead and put 16 triple crochets through the center of this chain six space. One. Two. Three. Okay, once you get your 16 triples again, without chaining three, you want to go ahead and just single crochet into the next chain two space. Chain three, and then the next one, you go ahead and do a V stitch inside that chain two space. So two doubles, chain two, two more doubles. And then you want to go ahead and chain three and then single crochet into the next V stitch space like that. and then without chaining three go ahead and do 16 triple crochets again through the center of that chain six space so that is what you want to repeat all the way around Sixteen triples, single crochet, chain three, V stitch, chain three, single crochet, sixteen triples. And you just keep repeating that all the way back around to the beginning. Okay, once you make it all the way back around to the beginning, I just did my last single crochet here. So I'm gonna do the chain three, <clears throat> then I'm gonna slip stitch into my beginning chain three. Just like that. Okay, now we're always we're gonna start the same way from now on. We're gonna slip stitch over to the center. Like that. And then we're gonna chain three and go ahead and do the V stitch in this chain two space. So go ahead and do another double crochet. Chain two and then two more double crochet. And tap. Okay, now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And I'm going to do a triple crochet in this triple crochet. Just like that. And I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to do a triple crochet into the next triple crochet. Chain one triple crochet into the next triple crochet chain one triple crochet into the next triple crochet chain one and you want to do that all the way across these whole 16 triple crochets okay once you went across all these triple crochets with triple crochets with the chain one space in between now you want to chain three and v-stitch inside of this v-stitch so double crochet another double chain two and then two more doubles now we're going to chain three and then we're going to do repeat what we've been doing triple crochet into the next triple crochet chain one triple crochet in the next one chain one triple crochet chain one and you want to do that all the way across again and now we're just going to be repeating so it's triple crochets with chain ones and then chain three the v-stitch in this one chain three triple crochets just like that so now we're only working with one row of v-stitches these not no more so this is the repeat this 
and then one of the B stitches, and this, and then the B stitches, all the way back around to the beginning. Okay, once you make it all the way back around, I just did my last triple crochet here and I chain three. Now I'm going to slip stitch into my first or the top of my beginning chain three. Now I'm going to slip stitch right back over into the middle of this one. And I'm going to chain three, go back in and double crochet, doing my V stitch again, chain two. Go back in and do two more doubles. Okay, now I want to chain three. And then I'm going to single crochet right through this first chain one space. And I'm going to chain three, single crochet into the next chain one space chain three, single crochet right here into the next chain one space, chain three, single crochet into the next chain one space, and I'm going to do that, chain three, all the way across these chain one spaces. Single crochet, chain three, Single crochet, chain three. <clears throat> you can see that this is the start of the pineapple. When you make it all the way across this whole, all these chain, where you single crochet, chain three, all the way across. And then you want to chain three. And then do your V stitch inside of the chain two space from the previous V stitch, just like this, like we've been doing. Chain two, or two doubles, chain two, two more doubles. Then we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then single crochet into the first chain one space. Chain three, single crochet into the first chain one space, chain three. So we're just going to repeat what we've been doing all the way around. Just like that. And you want to do that as you get back to the beginning. Okay, when you make it all the way back around, make sure you chain three after that the last single crochet and slip stitch into your first or the top of your first chain three like that and again we're going to slip stitch over to the center of this one and then we're going to chain three and do our V stitch so we're going to do another double chain two and then two more doubles Then we're going to chain three and we're going to come over here and we're going to single crochet chain three in each of these chain three spaces. So I'm just going to jump over to the first space right here, single crochet, chain three, the next chain three space, single, chain three, the next one single, chain three, the next one. You want to do this all the way, all these stitches here, you want to do the same thing. And when you make it all the way across here, it's just kind of a repeat again. Now we just make sure you chain three after that last single crochet. And then we're going to V stitch in this V stitch. So 
two doubles, chain two, two more doubles, oh. chain three, and then we're going to work across, putting single crochet, chain three in each one of these spots. So we're just going to repeat what we've been doing all the way around. until you get back to the beginning. Okay, I made it back at the end of that round. Make sure you chain three here. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into my beginning. Chain three. Okay, so if you want to look to where, where we're at, want the V stitches, it's one, two, three, four, five. Now on this one, we're going to do something a little different on the next one. So one, two, three, four, five. On the sixth V stitch from the bottom, we're going to do a double, like two double V stitches. I'll show you. Go ahead and slip stitch over here into the chain space. Like that. And then chain three. Go ahead and do another double chain two and then another double like that and we're going to chain two again and go back in and do and two more doubles like that so you actually have two chain two spaces and then we want to chain three and single crochet into the next chain three space chain three and then single crochet in the next chain three space chain three single crochet chain three next chain three space single crochet chain three and we're going to do this all the way across just like before all the way across these chain three spaces and when you make it all the way across we're going to jump to our next B stitch make sure that you chain three here after that single crochet and we're going to do this again in this B stitch so we're going to do two doubles chain two two more doubles chain two and two more doubles all into that same spot like that and then we're gonna chain three and then we're just gonna continue this pattern all the way around jump over here to the next chain three space right here so we're skipping all this right just this chain and we're going to this one chain three the next one chain three the next one chain three so we're just going to repeat this pattern all the way around it's basically what we did last round except for the V stitches are a little different but go ahead and finish that back to the beginning okay I made it back to the beginning and I chain three we're skipping these chain spaces and like always and slip stitching into the first top of the first chain three I'm gonna slip stitch right over into this chain space now chain three go ahead and go ahead and do a V stitch in this space so go back in and double crochet chain two and two more doubles that all back in that same space like that and now I'm going to chain three and I'm going to go back into this next space right next to it and do another V stitch so I'm going to go through and do two doubles 
chain two and two more doubles. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to chain three. Jump over here. Skipping this chain three space like always. Going into this little space here. Single crochet. Chain three. The next one. Single crochet. Chain three. And the next one. Single crochet. Chain three. Single crochet. Chain three. You want to do this all the way across again, all these chain spaces. Okay, I made it all the way across these spaces and I'm back to my next V stitch spaces. So, skipping this, make sure you chain three after this last single crochet and go into this first chain two space of this V stitch and do a V stitch again. So, two doubles. Chain two, two more doubles, then you chain three, go right here to this B stitch space, two doubles, Chain two and two more doubles like that. So that's every this is what the V stitch spaces are gonna look like this round. Chain three and then jump over here to this single crochet this chain three space right here and then single crochet chain three the next space single crochet chain three so we're just going to repeat this pattern that we're doing all the way around back to the beginning just like that okay at the end of that last round make sure you chain three again after your last single crochet Skip all these chains and slip stitch into the top of your first chain three. Now I'm going to slip stitch over into the first space. And I'm going to chain three and go ahead and do my V stitch in that space. So another double. Chain two and two more doubles and then I'm going to chain three and I'm going to do a v-stitch in this big space here so I'm going to yarn over and do two doubles chain three I'm, I'm sorry two doubles chain two Two more doubles. And chain three again. And do a V stitch in this space. Two doubles. Chain two. Two more doubles. So that's how the V stitch spaces are going to look this time around. So you want to chain three and skip these spaces and right here in this first chain three space over here, single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the next space, chain three, single in the next chain three and you want to do this all the way across here and when you make it to the next v-stitch spaces 
doing your make sure you do your chain three again after your last single crochet skipping all these chains go ahead and V stitch into the first space chain two chain three so many different numbers of chains chain three in between here and then into this big space another V stitch chain three again and then another V stitch in this chain space like that and then you chain three and jump over here skipping all this again we're gonna single crochet in this chain three space we're just gonna repeat what we've been doing now for this row chain three single crochet chain three single crochet so just repeat that all the way around I'll show you what it's starting to look like back to the beginning you can see the kind of see the pineapple starting to take shape but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this round and I'll meet you right back over here at the beginning again okay I made it to the end of that row round and I just went ahead and slip stitch into my beginning chain three now I'm gonna slip stitch over in this space and I'm going to chain three and do V in this space V stitch in this space so double crochet back in there chain two and then two more doubles And I'm going to chain three, jump over to the next V-stitch, which is right here, do a V-stitch in this space, two doubles, chain two, two more doubles, and I'm going to chain three, and jump over to the next chain three space or chain two space and with in this v-stitch right here do another v-stitch chain three and that's how the v-stitches are going to look this round this v-stitch on top of these three v-stitches v-stitch 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 chain three skip this chain and work right here single crochet chain three single crochet in the next space chain three single crochet into the next space chain three single crochet into the next space chain three and you want to do this all the way across these chain three spaces just like before and when you make it all the way across here just to your next V stitch spaces just do a V stitch in the chain two space of each of these v-stitches like that chain three jump to the next one chain three one 
just like that. Chain three. And we're back over here where we skip this and then single crochet in this chain three space. Chain three. Single crochet in the next chain three space. Chain three. Just like that. So that's the way it is this time around. V stitch in each of them. And then we just continue across doing our single crochet chain threes all the way back around until we get back over here to the beginning. I'll meet you back over here. Okay, I made it back around to the beginning again. And I'm just going to slip skip this stuff like usual and slip stitch into my beginning chain three. I'm going to slip stitch over into this next chain two spot. What I'm going to do this round is repeat the round I just did. So I'm going to chain three, do a V stitch right here. So go back in and do another double, chain two, two more doubles, chain three, jump to the next V stitch right here, do a V stitch again, two doubles chain two, two more doubles, chain three, jump to this third v-stitch, do a v-stitch again, two doubles, chain two, two doubles, chain three, And then jump over here, skip these spaces like usual, and right here we do our single crochet, chain three. Single crochet in the next space, chain three. Single in the next, chain three. So all this row is is a repeat of the last row. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat this all the way back to the beginning okay I made it back around again and again I'm gonna slip stitch into the top of my beginning chain three and slip stitch over to the first I'm in the middle of the first V stitch now this round's gonna be pretty much the same as the last round but we're gonna do one thing different so we're gonna go ahead and chain three and do our V stitch in our very first V stitch so two doubles Counting that chain three, chain, chain two, and two more doubles. And now we're going to chain three. Now you see how there are three V stitches before we get over here to this pineapple stitch. There's one, two, three. This middle one is going to get six, a chain six instead of a chain two. So we can start another pineapple stitch. So what we're going to do is we chain three and we go into the next one, the middle one of the three, and do two doubles. And now we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And go back in and do two more doubles. One, two, and then we chain three. And then we go to the next one and we just make it a regular V stitch with two doubles, a chain two, and two more doubles. Sorry if I keep going out of focus. I don't have a really big work area. And when I'm working with a big project it's hard to stay in front of the camera. So like that. So that's the only really the only difference in this round is this middle V stitch is going to be a chain six this time. And then we're just going to chain three, continue along like we did in the previous rounds start by putting a skipping all these this chain starting right here with a single crochet chain three single crochet in the next chain three single in the next and then we do that all the way across until we get to the next set of three V stitches and this is going to be the regular V stitch with the chain two this is going to be the v-stitch with the chain six v-stitch with the chain two and then you just continue along 
in that pattern until you get back to the beginning. Okay, I just made it back around um, after that round and I just slip stitched into my first um, chain three there, the top of it. Now I'm going to slip stitch over to my my first V stitch space here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do a V stitch. So I'm going to chain three, go back in and double, chain two, and do two more doubles. Like that. Now what I'm going to do is chain three, and I'm, I'm right here in my big chain six space. I want to do 16 triple crochets through that space. So what we're doing is we're just starting another uh, pineapple stitch. So with this chain three on my hook still, I'm going to yarn over twice for a triple and go right through and do 16 triples. Just one, two. Three, four. Okay, once you get your 16 triple crochets through that chain six space, I got one more here. And then you want to chain three again. One, two, three. And jump over to the next V stitch, V stitch space, and do a regular V stitch. So two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles, like that. So that's the way the V stitches are going to work this time. So regular one, chain three, and then sixteen triples into the next. And then you chain three and then you do a regular one into the next. And then we chain three. And we continue working over here on our pineapple by starting in this one, this chain here. Skipping these like always. And single crocheting. Chain three. Single crochet into the next. Chain three. Single crochet into the next chain three and that's the way this round is going to go it's kind of similar to all the other rounds just just like a little change here and there so this the different first this is what's different this round is we got to add the 16 triple crochets so once you go across here doing your chain threes and your singles you make it back over here to the v stitches this gets the regular v stitch this gets 16 triples and this gets the regular v-stitch with the chain three in between each so go ahead and work your way around probably by now you're kind of getting the gist of how it's kind of going now but i'll keep going with you every row so i'll meet back up with you right back here at the beginning okay i made it back around again after that round and i slip stitch into my beginning chain three as always Now I'm going to slip stitch over to this space. And then I'm going to do my V-stitch in this spot, chain three. Double crochet, so that's two double crochets in a row. I'm going to chain two and go back in and do two more doubles and I'm going to chain three and now I'm right here where the 16 triple crochets are so with this chain three on my hook I'm going to yarn over and go into the first one and triple crochet and then I'm going to chain one I'm going to triple crochet into the next chain one triple crochet into the next chain one and I'm going to do this all the way across all these triple crochets just like that kind of like the same we did when we did it up here it's pretty much the same 
Okay, once you went all the way across here with the triple crochet, chain one, you want to chain three at the last one, and jump over here to the next V stitch and V stitch in it again. So two doubles, chain two, two more doubles. Chain three. Okay, now we're going to work across our little pineapple area. Single crochet in this this chain right here. Skipping this chain as always. Go right through there. Single crochet. Chain three. The next one. Single crochet. Chain three. The next one. Single chain three all the way across here and that is how this is how the V stitches are going to go we started out doing one V stitch we chain three and we did all these triples with chain ones and then a V stitch and now we're working across here where we do our chain three single crochet chain three single crochet and then we're just going to repeat that V stitch in the first V stitch and then we do all these triples so we're just repeating what we just did all the way back to the beginning okay I made it back to the beginning again now I slip stitched into my chain three and I'm gonna slip stitch over to my middle of my V stitch and now I'm going to do a V stitch. So I'm going to chain three, go back in and do a double, chain two, back in the same spot and do two more double crochets. And I'm going to chain three. Now we're working on another, starting on another little pineapple shape. So we're going to go across here doing that single crochet chain three single crochet chain three so skipping this big spot right here like we did before go right through this first space single crochet chain three the next space single crochet chain three the next one we're going to do this all the way across these triple crochets When you make it all the way across there, I'm just going to chain three at the last one and V stitch into the next V stitch. So two doubles, chain two, two more doubles, and we're going to chain three. And now we're, where we're on the other pineapple stitch that's actually starting to get a lot smaller. If you look at it, you can see it taking shape right through here. Every row you go, it just keeps getting smaller. So now we're just going to keep going across it though, the way we've been doing. So we're just going to jump over here, skipping that big spot right here. And single crochet, in. chain three, single crochet, chain three. We're going to do this all the way across this pineapple stitch. So we got two of these little pineapple things going at once now. This is really just kind of, this should be pretty easy to follow along now. Pretty much repetitive. Lots of chains and stuff, but. And when you get to the end, you skip that like always and V stitch into the next V stitch. Chain two. <coughs> Chain three after that one. And then we're here where we're going to start our next big pineapple. And 
single crochet into this first chain one spot. So we're just going to repeat this all the way around. It's going to start getting easier now actually. just It's pretty easy. Just like I said, a bunch of chains and stuff. So I'm going to do this all the way back around to the beginning. Okay, I made it back around again and I slip stitched it to my chain three. Now all I'm going to do is repeat the row that I just did. So I'm going to slip stitch over to my first, to my first piece of space here. I'm going to chain three, do a V stitch. So I'm going to go right back through, double crochet, chain two, and then two more doubles. And I'm going to chain three. Now, I'll show you what we're going to do now. You can see that we got two pineapple stitch started. This is the starter one, and then we started one way up here. This one isn't finished yet. So we're going to be chaining three, and working single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, in each of these spots, in each of these spaces, just like we did with this one. All the way, and then we'll do the V-stitch, where the V-stitches are, we'll just keep doing V-stitches, and then when we get to here, we'll do our chain threes, single crochets, and then the V-stitch, and then the chain three, single crochets, and we're going to do that all the way around. And we're going to just going to keep repeating that round until this this one that's almost done gets finished. So it's going to be counting this this round that we're doing right now, and you want to do that for a total of four more rows. Okay, once you make it around, after those four rows that were the same. Just slip stitch into your beginning chain three, slip stitch over to the middle of this V stitch, and then chain three and do your V stitch. Like that. Now we're going to chain three and work our across this pineapple with our single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three. So skip this chain here like always. Work in the next spot, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, all the way across this pineapple. Okay, what you want to do now is without chain three, we're going to jump over and v-stitch into the next v-stitch because you can see right here that this pineapple is finished. We already made it to the last point. So we're going to skip this, this skip these chains and this v-stitch into the next v-stitch. But don't make a chain in between them, in between these two. So. so two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles like that and then you can chain three and continue your pat this pattern around over here jump over here skip this chain jump over here to the next big pineapple single crochet chain three single crochet chain three just like that we're going to repeat this all the way around so this time it's pretty much still similar the same <clears throat> the only difference is when you get to the small pineapple we have to close it off like that we do we get to the v-stitch we don't chain three in between these two we just jump and do v-stitch here and the v-stitch here and then we just continue along doing the same pattern all the way back to the beginning okay I made it all the way around and I didn't chain three after my last 
pretty stitch and I just slip stitched into my first one because that was the end of that point there like we've been doing now what we're going to do now is since this point is finished off we need to finish off this point this pineapple stitch so now we're going to be working back and forth across the big pineapples we're not going to be so we're going to clip at the end once we're done with it and then go over to the next big pineapple and start restart your yarn so these to make the ends to finish this off these are work in back and forth rows okay we'll just pick up where we left off and we'll start by slip stitching into the first v-stitch and then we'll go ahead and do our v Okay, now we'll do a chain three. It's pretty easy from here on out. And we'll go ahead and go to our first spot that we need to single crochet in. Skipping this, like always, and single crochet. Chain three. The next one, single crochet. Chain three. We're going to do that all the way across this big the pineapple stitch Okay, I got one more here. And I'm gonna chain three up to that last single crochet and skip this like always and V stitch into the next V stitch. Like that now instead of continuing around we're going to, to just turn our work and we're going to go back across the same pineapple stitch again so each one of these larger pineapples are worked individually to finish them off and make them come out, come down to a point um, and there should be a total of eight of them so we just turn our work I, did, I need a bigger work area I just don't have much room but I guess I just try to make do with what I have. Okay, once you got your work turned, we're going to slip stitch over into the middle of this V-stitch. So I just slip stitch over into the next double crochet. And then into the chain 2 space. And then V-stitch, chain 3, double, chain 2, two more doubles. And then I'm going to chain three and we're skip this like always and go to this one right here where we need a single crochet and single crochet chain three go to the next one single crochet chain three and I'm gonna do this all the way across it again And when you make it to the end, you gotta skip that like always. And do your I did my last single crochet, I chain three, skip this like always, and V stitch into this V stitch. And 
and then again I'm going to turn my work and start again going across it. So it's just back and forth on these big ones until they get down to where they don't have any until they come down to their finished. Okay, here's a point that's almost completed. You can see how it's not it's not connected anymore. It comes down on its own to a point. And you keep going with your point until you get to where the pineapple's finished and you can't you can't there's no more uh, places to put a single crochet just like this is. And I'll show you how you finish it off real quick. Let me set my camera down. Okay, once you get to that point, and you're going to turn your work, which I already did. And we're going to slip stitch over into this space, just like usual, and do a V in that V stitch. Okay, without chaining three, we're going to jump over to this V stitch and do another V stitch. And two. Like that. Now you can leave it like that if you want. A lot of times I think that's considered a finished pineapple. But I'd actually do it to a complete point. And remember you don't have to do this if you don't like the looks of it. Here's a here's what it is, I think, normally whenever a pineapple is completed. It looks like that. It's got the two on the end. But I'm just going to go ahead and make it come to a further point on mine. I'm going to slip stitch. I turn my work and I'm going to slip stitch over into this V stitch again. Like that. This time I'm going to chain three. I'm going to go back in and do a double crochet. And then I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to jump over here and do two double crochets. So it's kind of a v-stitch that I just did, but it was split over these two. So it was chain three, double crochet, chain two, and then two doubles in this one. Now one more time, I'm going to turn my work, slip stitch over to this big spot here, this big chain two space. Like that, and do a complete v-stitch, chain three. Go back in and do a double crochet, chain two, and two more double crochets. Like that. And then what you want to do is, that's how I finish mine off. This makes it come to more of a, a point at the end. But you can leave it the other way if you want. It's really up to you. But I'm gonna now you want to go ahead and clip the yarn once you get to your stopping point here and tie it off and you can hide the tail and then you start you find your next V next large V stitch and you start again and do another one like I said there's a total of eight so my next one is right here and I just want to start in the V stitch that's beside it Start by doing a V stitch and then working across all these stitches just like we did until we get to the V stitch on directly on the other side of it and V stitch, turn your work and go across again to the V stitch, turn your work again to the V stitch all the way down to your point is at this point and then you just finish each of them off whichever way you choose to finish them I showed you them two ways. So that's completely up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and finish. Um, I did one point. I'm going to go ahead and finish my other seven. And then we'll start on the waist. Okay, now I'm going to be working along the top. 
So you can star anywhere that you want, but you want to make sure the right side of your work is facing you. And I'm just going to go in to a stitch, start my yarn. by chaining one and I'm going to go back into the exact same stitch and single crochet like that. Now I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch all the way around the top here. Just like that. All the way around the entire top until you get back to your starting point. Okay, I made it back around after that row of single crochet. Now, if you want to put a stitch marker here to um, mark your spot, you can. Or if you can remember. But we're going to be working in rounds now. So, we're just going to jump over to the next single crochet and single crochet like that now we're going to do I'm going to do a row of decreases so I'm going to do seven single crochets in a row and then I'm going to do a single crochet decrease so that was my first one so there's two three four five six Seven, and now I'm going to single de crochet decrease over the next two. So I'm going to go in to the next stitch and drop a loop, and then in to the next stitch and drop a loop. And I'm going to yarn over and go through all three loops on my hook. So that's a single crochet decrease. Now I'm going to do seven sing single crochets in a row again. Two, three. Four, five, six, and then I'm going to do a single crochet decrease over the next two stitches. So I'm going to go into the next stitch, drop a loop, go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, and go through all three. Now it's seven single crochets in a row again. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and then single crochet decrease over the next two. Go into the next one, drop a loop, and the next one after that, drop a loop, yarn over, and go through all three loops. So I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way back around to the beginning. Okay, whenever you make it back around, it may not have been even for you like I had a decrease and then two more stitches but whatever you had is is fine it doesn't have to be even or anything not right not at this part okay once you make it back around now I'm gonna make um, a place where I can weave the a drawstring through so I'm gonna go ahead and just single crochet into the next stitch if you're using a stitch marker go ahead and move your stitch marker up and then I'm gonna chain one I'm going to skip a single crochet and single crochet into the next. Then I'm going to chain one, skip a single crochet and single crochet into the next. Chain one, skip a single, single into the next. Chain one, skip a single, single into the next. Chain one. And I'm going to do that all the way around and that way I'll have a little opening here that I can weave. Um, um, some, a tie or something through. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way back around. Okay, once you make it back around to the beginning, after doing that single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, want to go ahead, now I'm gonna, just going to do a row of, a round of single crochet. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and single crochet in every single crochet and every chain one space. So I'm just going to go, you go right through the chain one space, 
single crochet, single crochet into the next single crochet, single crochet through the chain space, single crochet in the next single crochet, and then in through the chain space, the next single crochet through the chain space, the next single through the chain space, and you just do that all the way around, and then you still have your little opening here that we can weave something through later. So go ahead and repeat that all the way around. Okay, I made it back around to the beginning and you want to move your stitch marker up once you get back around. Now I'm just going to do rows of single, one single crochet in every stitch. I'm going to do two rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. If you want to do more, you can. Just depends on how big you want the band to be. So. I'm going to go ahead and do two more rows of one single crochet in every stitch. So here's my um, row that we did the single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one. And then we have one row, and then I'm working on another, and I'll do one more. So it'll be a total of three in right here after this, where we're going to weave our band. But So I'm going to go ahead and finish that up. Okay, once you make it back, back around to where your stitch marker is, and remember you can do more rows of single crochet if you want, um, but go ahead and just slip stitch into the next stitch like that, and then you want to just tie that off and hide the tail, and then we'll make um, a string or something to put through here. Okay, for the tie, I just did one long chain of 160, but you, you know you can make, you don't have to be exact with that, but. And then it's just a single crochet in every stitch down the length of the chain. That's all it is. And then, it, then I just tied it off. Um, and then just to weave it in. Okay, now you can weave it. Um, over and under every one or every other one or however you want to do it. I'm going to do it over the next one. And then back through from the behind on the next one. So I'm going to do over and under every single one. And find the next one. And then back through from the behind. On the, on the next one. So I'm going to do this all the way around, over and under every one of these uh, chain one spaces for up here. Okay, I weeded my tie already uh, all around, over and under, and I just made them it come out the same end as I started. So they're they're coming out that same hole. That way you can tighten it up easier. Now I'm going to go around. I'm going to. Uh, go ahead and sew in all my tails. I got a whole bunch of tails to sew in. Okay, once you get all your um, tails hidden, that's it. That's all there is to it. So I hope you were able to follow along. Okay, I know that it was kind of a lot in a long video, but um, if you make this though, I'd love to see a picture of it. You can post it on my uh, The Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. And until next time, have a good day.